Civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s role in the American civil rights movement made him the most celebrated black leader of his generation. And nearly 44 years after his death, he continues to touch all of our worlds. And today we celebrate his life. Well, we celebrate his life as we move into the weekend because the big day, of course, is Monday, January 16th. And today, Joycelyn Peggy's Jackson is joining us with his story and his legacy. Good morning, Joycelyn. Good morning, Nikki. How it's, are you? I'm great. Thank you for being with us to talk about such an important day. It's, it's so important. And, you know, we want to we wanna make sure that we never forget Dr. King's message. How has it impacted the world that we live in today? Well, we are able to look through a more inclusive lens across cultures. Mm -hmm. And um, we're able to recognize and address um, the issues of social justice, equality, uh, equal access and cultural diversity mm -hmm. in a very nonviolent way. Absolutely. And, and you know, that message never changes. It's a universal message and it's a message that spans generation gaps. And we have a clip of his famous I Have a Dream speech that he gave back on August 28, 1963, back in Washington, D.C. Let's take a listen. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created in I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream. My goodness, his words are just etched into all of our memories, and it, it doesn't matter how many times I've watched that speech, and I think I speak for everybody. You still get the chills, you still you feel everything you felt from the first time you watched it. And I see the tears in your eyes, too. Yes, it's very emotional. Absolutely. Because um, at this time today in our country, mm -hmm. there are so many things that he talked about mm -hmm. in his lifetime that we're still living today. No doubt. And even with all the progress we've made. I mean, let's talk a little bit about the primary objective of the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. federal holiday. Let's talk about that. The primary objective of the holiday mm -hmm. is to encourage people to embrace Dr. King's life philosophy, yeah. that of love, tolerance, and nonviolence, mm -hmm. not only on the holiday, but throughout the year. People in more than a hundred nations currently observe the holiday. Isn't that wonderful, though? It's wonderful. And I, and I love that. And, you know, for 22 years, the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Multicultural Council has celebrated cultural diversity. So why was the council founded? Well, in 1990, a group of very dedicated volunteers met to begin our inaugural year. Mm -hmm. Since then, we have remembered and carried out Dr. King's legacy to keep the dream alive. Mm. Absolutely. And, and, and the work that you do is so important and so impacting. Tell us a little bit about what you do personally. Um, I am currently the uh, multicultural education coordinator in Albuquerque Public Schools. Mm -hmm. And this is the rim that I work in. Mm -hmm. I work in cultural diversity. I work in uh, issues uh, that come up in schools that deal with the different cultures yes. and the understanding. You work with um, the children. I work a lot with young people mm -hmm. um, to make sure that uh, we understand what is actually happening across cultures right. in regards to Dr. King's legacy. 
And, and that's a lesson that everybody can benefit from. And, you know, I want you to kind of explain to our viewers, literally, what does living the dream mean to you? Um, living the dream means to me a day to celebrate the life and the dream of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., mm. a day to reaffirm the American ideals of freedom, justice, and opportunity for all, yes. a day when the community can rid itself of barriers which divide it and come together as one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you know, we want to make sure that the community helps to keep that dream alive. So how can we do that? We can keep the dream by volunteering to serve on our committees okay. in the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Council. Okay. Um, we have several committees. We have the awards committee where we do scholarships, keep the dream alive, the donor appreciation. We have a media and technology uh, hmm. committee. We do community outreach, and we have finance and fundraising. And we have our annual celebration, which we like for everyone to come and participate in. Yes, tell us about that. <clears throat> this is our um, 22nd year. Okay. Um, and again, let me stress that this event is free to the public. See, isn't All that right. great? No excuse then not to go. And we will be honoring... Um, Mr. Frank Martinez, okay. the retired UNM public information officer, and the Roadrunner Food Bank, fighting yes. hunger and feeding uh, the hope, you know, hunger feeding hope. Absolutely. Um, it will take place on this coming Monday, okay. January 16th. Of course, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. That's right. And, and many people are off of work and school, so it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity to get out and support and support the celebration of his life and his dream and his legacy. Yes, and it will take place at Congregation Albert. Um, it will begin at 1 okay. and it will end at 3. And where can people find more information about the council? They can find uh, more information about the council on our website. Which is? Which is uh, MLK, MLK, uh, M dot com. Great. Okay. And of course, we'll have more information as well right here at our website at casa.com. Joyce Lynn, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure, really. And I hope that everyone in Albuquerque and around the state yes. observe um, Dr. Martin Luther King's holiday. Absolutely, we will do that. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. And coming up next, a few of my favorite things, chocolate and also some coffee. We got coffee talk coming up.